Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, we are going to be looking at another footies card. This is the footies hero for Nando Morientes. Now, I don't know how many of you guys know who this guy is. He's a crazy, crazy player, guys. In real life, as well as in games. Like, we've, we've been doing, uh, I think, SBCs and objectives of him. Even in the past FIFA uh, editions, like 22, 23 and stuff. Now, we have him in FC24 as a footies hero, 96 rated striker. Now, looking at the stats just on the card, it looks like a pretty decent, uh, you know, card. A, a pretty well-rounded striker card for a 96 rated card. And you have to use two squad builds for him, an 86 with a La Liga and a team of the season player or a team of the week. And then the second one is an 87 with a informer Tots player. So actually, I would say for a 96 rated striker, icon, I mean not an icon, a hero card, 86 and an 87 squad at this day and age, at, the, at almost the end of August, is pretty decent. It's not too costly, I would say. Uh, but we will test him out, we'll look at the stats in there, to look at the playstyle, playstyle pluses, everything, and we'll put him in the game and see how his in-game stats or how he is in-game compared to his on-card stats and even attributes so he has 94 pace 97 shooting 92 dribbling all of this good stuff for a striker but is it actually true to these things in game we'll be uh, testing it out now without any further ado let us look at his weak foot and his uh skill move he has five star five star which is really good he has high attacking work rate which is insane as well and preferred foot is right for right sided i mean i can use him at uh, right striker i am using 424 for my main lineup and for my test and think i'm using a 412 i'm not sure uh but yeah this is looking good this is looking good and then coming you can play him at striker and center forward so those two positions you can play him at and for uh, play style and play style pluses is where i'm really excited he has finish shot plus and power shot plus he has chip shot and he has power header as well so for scoring he has insane play style and play style pluses so we'll try to test most of these out he has Tiki Taka, he has First Touch Plus, and he has Aerial Plus as well. So for whoever is interested in these uh, Finish Shot Plus, Power Shot Plus, and Aerial Plus, I feel like you guys will enjoy using this card. Now we will test out his pace, his shooting, his dribbling in-game. I'll try my best to test out jumping. I mean, I don't know if he'll get any corners and stuff. But yeah, we'll test him out properly in today's video, guys. And uh, yeah, looking at pace, he has low acceleration compared to most of the striker cards that they have in the game right now but i would say this is a pretty decent card not gonna lie 94 pace i'll happily use 94 pace on a striker not gonna lie 97 shooting shooting looks good 98 short part 99 finishing 99 attacking position 95 penalties 93 long shots as well he has only 85 curve now i don't know how finish shot works when he has finish shot plus and he has only 85 curve uh, I guess it is what it is. We'll try out in game. He has 95 short pass, which is more than enough. He has 95 vision as well, which is good enough for a striker. And he has 92 ball control and 92 dribbling, under dribbling. Now I'm guessing those two will get plus four after we've added him to the squad because of the stat boost. So he'll go from 92 to 96 for dribbling and ball control, which should be better. Now let me just complete this SBC. I need to complete one more. So like I said, 87 rated squad and an 86 rated squad. And for both, you need to put team of the week or team of the season. So if you guys have saved, please do complete it. Now let me complete this and we'll test him out in game. Okay, I have added Morientes to the squad. Now this is where he gets uh, his uh, stats boosted, guys. I like I said in dribbling, if you guys can see. He gets plus 4 for ball control and plus 4 for dribbling. And even under shooting, he gets 99 shot per now. He gets 99 volleys, 99 penalties, 99 strength on the physical. So his stats are getting boosted really well. And I am actually, he's getting 99 sprint speed as well. So this is the team I'm going to be using. I am still experimenting with Dodo. Dodo? Dodo? Dodo. Yeah, Dodo, I think. And then. Garincha is just there. Gattuso is insane. Yeah, yeah. I just bought CR7 recently and I've been enjoying my life with him. And El Sharave's promo, the promo that I've been doing since the beginning of FC24. I'm almost done with this promo, guys. He's going to be getting 99 pace once I'm done with this evolution. Uh, yeah, I'm really happy with this. I'm really happy with this. So, yeah, let's get into the game. 
he doesn't feel slow is like acceleration it does say 94 but he doesn't feel slow at all oh shooting is really good shooting feels really good guys i'm not gonna lie shooting feels really good even pace is not a bad uh, thing you know he has pretty decent uh, ball control we'll we'll test out dribbling a bit more but so far is look at that like acceleration is a bit slow but it's not bad it's not bad it's like acceleration is just it's there it's there it's not like it's invisible but it's there his sprint speed though on the other hand is really good whoa whoa what is that shot par the shot par is too good guys the shot par is like too good. i am gonna try and get the aerial plus working but i'm so bad at corners like i don't know how to do it properly Okay, this is why I told the Elsa Rives card is really insane. But this is the Moriantes review. <laughs> I don't know why Elsa Rives is getting highlighted so much. His dribbling is good, guys. More than his dribbling, I'm impressed with his ball control. He has really good ball control. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. His ball control is really good. He's, he's, he's good. He's good. I mean, we've been playing for 20 minutes of in game time. So far. Okay, wait. If I concede here, I will cry. If I conceded there, I would have cried. Uh, but yeah, for 20 minutes of in-game time we have played, I would say space is pretty good. It's not insane like all the other uh, 99 rated pace cards that we have in the game right now. But for an 86 and an 87 rated squad you're putting in and getting an SBC, I would say it's a pretty decent card. I, do, I would say, I don't know how many of you guys would still need a 96 rated striker. But for what you have to put, you're getting a pretty good card. I'm not gonna lie. See, look at that there. His acceleration was slow. But if he would have got a bit of a few more seconds, like two, three more seconds, he would have been able to get going and his spin speed will help him like go past the defense really easily. So that is what I'm telling when I when I talk about uh, the low acceleration. Even though he has only 94 acceleration, like once he gets going, it'll be easy. So that is what I'm gonna say. I don't know how many of you guys will, I mean, will? I don't know how many of you guys would still want uh, a striker, 96 rated striker, considering the fact that uh, Haaland is going to be uh, there in most of your guys' squad. I myself, I'm almost done with Haaland, guys. So, I think for those who really desperately need this card, and for those who have just started playing uh, FC24, like. Um, a few like one one month back or maybe a few weeks back if you guys have a bunch of uh, fodder laying around you guys can definitely you know complete this sbc because you might not be able to complete uh, haaland but apart from that i feel like the people who have been playing this game for a long time i don't think you you guys usually i mean i don't think you guys really need uh, a card like this at this day and age unless you guys are like you guys like the player and you guys want to have this player in the squad like I didn't want Cristiano Ronaldo in my squad because I have a 98 Puskas and I am going to get a 99 Haaland. But I love Ronaldo. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? So I feel like if that is the only reason you guys would want to complete this card. But apart from that, this is a really good well-rounded card. I would, if you guys are thinking of completing this SPC, I would definitely tell go ahead with it because like like I said, except for the acceleration part. There is nothing else that is uh, stopping me from, you know, suggesting this card. The only part is acceleration. If you would have had like at least 96 acceleration and then 95 pace, him getting plus four in uh, sprint speed, I mean 90, 96 acceleration and 95 sprint speed, he would get plus four in sprint speed after you add him to the squad. So it will become 99 sprint speed and 96 acceleration, which will be really, really good. So yeah, coming, we've been playing with for half time, I've been talking a lot, so I'm gonna end the video, I would definitely suggest you guys complete this SBC, if you guys have the fodder for it, but other than that, it's, it's a good, it's a good card, I'm happy with it, I'll see you guys in the next one, we have to complete an objective, so I'll be uh, meeting you guys with that video, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, until then, take care, stay safe, stay motivated, and keep smiling guys, bye bye.